Hello traders and welcome to the Stock Goodies Chart School. Here is the explanation of what a moving average is. When they are placed in the price action area of a stock chart, they record the average closing price for the past number of days they are assigned to. I have a 15, a 50, and a 200 day moving average on this chart. Let's pick a spot right here, the day of the top. You drop down. This spot right here is the average closing price for the past 15 days. So if you count back 15 days from this day, that would be right about here. You would add up all of the closing prices of every one of those days and divide it by 15 to get this spot. This spot right here is the average closing price of the past 50 days from right here to right about here. This spot right here is the average closing price for the past 200 days and 200 days is a couple of months on the left side of this chart not shown. There are two kinds of moving averages, the simple and the exponential. Now I'm going to load up one of each in the same time period so that we can compare them. First we'll do the simple moving average at a period of 50. Then we want an exponential moving average also at a period of 50. Now the difference between the red exponential moving average and the blue simple moving average, both set at the 50 day period, is that exponential, like its name, means it has a little more juice to it. It makes sharper and quicker turns. It's a little bit more jagged, whereas the blue simple moving average is slower to turn and much more smooth. Now the question is, which one should I use? If you are a short-term trader and you want your indicators to give the fastest response and the, the quicker turns and the faster moves, go with the exponential moving average. Now, I always use the simple moving average because it gives you better areas of support and resistance. For example, XRTX is in a nice uptrend. You can tell that from the simple 50 day moving average. Okay, it took a while for, you know, the stock was moving up here and it took a while for the 200 day to even turn up. Okay, but it's now confirming that it's in an uptrend. As far as support and resistance goes, this stock has bounced off of, after a pullback, it has bounced off of the 50-day moving average one time, two times, three times, four times, five times. Okay. Now the price action is under the 50-day. And instead of the 50 being support four times, it looks like it's going to become a level of resistance. Now let's cover bullish or bearish crossovers. That is when a shorter term, like the 50 day, crosses up through the longer term 200 day and is called a golden cross. It is a bullish signal, but it always comes late. But it is still a, a very bullish signal and catches the eyes of a lot of traders. We like golden crosses. We like silver crosses, which is when the 15 simple moving average crosses up through the 50 simple move, simple moving average. Okay. And that happened right here. And that silver cross right in this area was a very bullish signal. And as you can see, the price action reacted. This volume made it gap and run. And 
Now let's speak a little of support and resistance. As you can see right here, the price dropped below the 15 moving average and it became a level of resistance. It kept dropping lower and banging its head above it, which is bearish. It turned bullish right here when it broke above the 15 moving average, started going up and bouncing up off of it a number of times, holding it as support. So there is your changeover from this point being bearish to this point right here being all bullish. And support was held in this area after a pretty good pullback four or five days and then some more volume came in and it broke out. So this is all support here. All the way back to here. This is all resistance. This is the change from the bear to the bull. Now here ASPS had a silver cross when the 15 moving average crossed up through the red 50 day moving average and that is a buy signal to many especially with the increasing volume and from right here the stock price did go up. Then the 15 became a level of support as it turned around this area and then finally broke out to new highs. Now let's take a look at my favorite setup when I load three different moving averages on the same chart. I always use the 15, the 50, and the 200 day simple moving averages. Okay, because the first thing I'm always looking for is bearish crossovers like right here. This is a, a negative silver cross where the 15 crosses down through the 50 and the price falls. Okay, right here is a bullish silver cross where the 15 crosses back up through the 50 and the price increases. This right here is a golden cross because the red 50 is now a penny above the green 200 day moving average. So to summarize, moving averages are one of the most popular indicators of them all. And they also form the building blocks for many other technical indicators and overlays like the MACD, Bollinger Bands, and the McClellan Oscillator. Moving averages help smooth price action and filter out the noise and can be used to identify the direction of the trend. Here is a downtrend. It turns into an uptrend right here according to the 15 moving average. Okay, they also can define potential support and resistance level. This is all resistance at the 15 MA. This is all support at the 15 MA. And they also give bullish or bearish crossovers that traders can use as a buy or sell signal. Right here is a negative silver cross that turns into a positive silver cross that then becomes a positive golden cross. This is a buy signal for many traders when the 15 moving average crosses up through the 50 moving average. Now there are two kinds of moving average, the simple and the exponential. If you are a buy and hold type, you'll probably want to use the 50, 200 day simple moving average on daily and weekly charts. If you are a swing trader, you will probably want to use the 15 day, 50 day moving averages on hourly and daily charts. And if you are a day trader, you're probably using the 5 and the 15 minute exponential moving average on one, five, or 15 minute charts.